This is test one of five tests in this video. The rotation rate is raised until the balance magnet at the right resonates with the standing wave magnetic field being driven by the magnetic disk rotation. The counter reads period count in microseconds. The inverse is frequency and for the resonant point will be equal to 7.3 Hertz. One thirty seven mark resonance left side. Out of resonance. This is test two of five tests in this video. The rotation rate is lowered from near 10 hertz slowly and numerous resonances are visible along the way with no pronounced or large one until 3.38 hertz where the balance magnet rotates through 360 degrees. This is the only test where this occurs. Break two ninety two. End of test. This is test three of five tests in this video. Note that the balance magnets are now on the right side of the disc magnets. The rotation rate of the disc magnets is slowly raised until a strong balance magnet resonance is noted at 7.84 Hz. This is the well-known Schumann resonance which occurs in the Earth's atmosphere to ground. This strongly suggests that this test reveals some of the mechanics of the Schumann frequency generation. One twenty eight point five, one twenty seven point nine mark resonance. This is test four of five tests in this video. The frequency is lowered slowly from near ten hertz to a strong resonance of the balance magnets. This is again on the right side of the rotating magnetic discs. The resonance is seen to be at 7.83 Hz, which is again at the Schumann frequency. The nature of the field around the rotating disk magnets appears to be an energy wave that is a motion and outward flow proportional to the rate of rotation of the disks. 
Note that uh, identical pair of disks, it is the magnetic orientation which determines the left or the right condition of this wave. Mark, resonance is the same from going from low to high as it is from high to low on the right hand side. End of test. This is the last test of five tests in this video. The balance magnets are moved out on the right side of the disc magnets about an inch and a new resonance with the field of the disc magnets is found to be one half of 10 hertz. 10 hertz is the electrogravitational frequency. This strongly suggests that the electrogravitational frequency as well as the Schumann frequency are generated by the same basic asymmetry produced by splitting the field between two identical magnetic points in space. A macroscopic display of uncertainty is the result. This is the end of test 5.